a sister FFM registration. Step 2, Requesting Marketplace Learning Management System Access. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. Center for Consumer Information and Insurance Oversight. Agenda. Objectives. Summary of Steps. Demonstration of Process. Additional MLMS Resources. Help Desk Support. Objectives. Learn how to select the proper access rights to the Marketplace Learning Management System. Learn to verify access rights in the Marketplace Learning Management System. Summary of Steps. 1. Select the Login to CMS Secure Portal button. 2. Review and accept the terms and conditions. 3. Enter your user ID and password. 4. Select the Login button. 5. Select the Request Access Now button. 6. Locate the FFM Training, Agents Brokers Assisters option. 7. Select the Request Access button. 8. Select the Assister role and the Submit button. 9. Select the OK button. 10. Repeat steps 1 to 4 and verify success. Once a CMS Enterprise Portal account is created the assister must select the appropriate role to access their training courses. The Login to CMS Secure Portal button is selected. Terms and conditions are presented for review prior to entering an account. The I Accept button is selected. The unique user ID that was created in the Creating an Enterprise Portal account lesson is entered for access. The Next button is selected. The unique password that was created in the Creating an Enterprise Portal account lesson is entered for access. The Login button is selected. Review the CMS Enterprise Portal My Portal page for general information about using the portal. Note the help desk information for future reference. The Request Access Now button is selected. The CMS Enterprise Portal My Access page is displayed with a catalog of systems. It is important to request FFM training access. The assister may filter their view by entering FFM in the search field. The key term, FFM, is entered in the search field. The FFM Training, Agents Brokers Assisters tile is now the only catalog option on display. The Request Access button is selected. On the Request New System Access screen the assister selects the assister role. If the wrong role is requested, the assister must contact Exchange Operations Support Center via email at cms underscore feps at cms.hhs.gov or telephone at 1-855-267-1515. Report that the assister has chosen the wrong role and that EIDM needs to change the role to assister. The assister's option is selected from the role drop-down menu. It is very important to verify that assisters is displayed in the role field before proceeding. The submit button is selected. After requesting FFM training access and the assisters role, the assister must log out of the CMS Enterprise portal. The OK button is selected. The assister is returned to the CMS Enterprise Portal homepage to log back and to continue with the registration process. It is recommended to wait a few minutes before logging back in to ensure the granting of FFM training access is complete. The Login to CMS Secure Portal button is selected. The I Accept button is selected. The User ID field is completed. The Next button is selected. The Password field is completed. The Login button is selected. The user views their My Portal page and the MLMS button in the upper left of the screen. They are now ready to proceed with the Assister registration. Transaction completed. This is the end of the simulation. Additional MLMS resources.
Assistor registration and training topics include, Step 1, Creating an Enterprise Portal Account, Step 2, Requesting Marketplace Learning Management System Access, Step 3, Accessing the Marketplace Learning Management System, Step 4, Enrolling in and completing the appropriate Assistor courses, Step 5, Printing your Assistor Curriculum and Federal Certificates, these materials are found on the Assistor Training Materials page, https, marketplace.cms.gov slash technical-assistance-resources slash training-materials slash training.html Help Desk Support For help changing or resetting the CMS Enterprise Portal Password, 1. Visit the CMS Enterprise Portal at portal.cms.gov, 2. On the right-hand side of the home page click the Forgot Password link under the CMS Secure Portal pane, 3. Follow the on-screen instructions. For further assistance with passwords and forgotten answers to security questions, please contact XOSC Tier 1 Support at 1-855-267-1515 or cms underscore fepsadcms.hhs.gov.